Radio.com. What is going on? It is the one and only Radio, and you're live here in the old school baby. On today's show, LeBron James and his ghetto ass mama, bad baby mama's flavor flame. And most importantly, we got you, baby. So let's get this party started. Oh my goodness, LeBron James' mama arrested for slapping L out of somebody. His mama, Miss Gloria, who is known not to take no mess, decided that she was going to let that man know that she wanted her car when she wanted it. And she wasn't going to take and wait on nobody. Now this is where the story gets a little bit crazy. Her car was in valet and she had decided that she wanted it when she wanted it. Mafia claims that Miss Gloria's ass was over there talking. She was over there running her motherfucking mouth instead of paying attention to his ass when he brought his car on over to her. And he claims that he told her ass that it was there. But Miss Gloria wasn't taking no mess and then went on to attack his ass. So this is, I think, what maybe might have happened when she decided to leash out against his ass. Now, baby, I done told your motherfucking ass one motherfucking time to bring me my motherfucking car. Now, I ain't no motherfucker. I ain't tell you to motherfucking say a motherfucker. And let his ass have... Oh, motherfucking five of her fingers across his face. One, two, three, four, motherfucking five. I think I'm going to go ahead and go to the next story because she might decide she's going to come up after me and whoop all off in my ass. So let me go ahead and push off. Oh, my goodness. We got some TPT parents that we need to put on black. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got some trailer park trash mamas and daddies probably that need to be known that what they doing might not be right. Eight-year-old boy gets maced? So this little enraged asshole motherfucker decided that he was going to hold his whole third grade class hostage. But not only did he hold a ass hostage, he went to the back and got his little popsicle stick, which he had rubbed on the ground. You know how sometimes you rub it till that motherfucker go to a chop point and decided to go take the motherfucking teacher and fuck her ass up by letting that hoe know that, hey, if you motherfucking move, matter of fact, bitch, if you motherfucking decide you want to go do shit, I'm going to stab your ass till you motherfucking fall out and motherfucking die. The teacher then responded and yelling and screaming, but my only question is, Bitch, and he, uh, this tall, and you motherfucking, um, this tall, and he got a motherfucking toothpick, and he threatening your life? Bitch, please. I really don't understand, but then the story gets even crazier. The teacher, who was so scared, went and called the police on the eight-year-old and got security. Security came into the classroom in which this sanctified devil son of a bitch had done stood right there and told they ass, I'm going to kill you motherfuckers and when you get out of this classroom, you all going to motherfucking die. The police who then immediately pepper sprayed the little boy until his ass fell the fuck out. When asked why did he do it, the boy then responded, I will kill you motherfuckers and that if you teachers come out of that classroom, you will die. The sorry ass mother then decided to respond by saying that this is not how her child is. He does not act this way. And this is only something that he does when he gets to school. My only question is Bitch, why did you beat him ass? But hey, I might need to stay out of that one because that little motherfucker look like he gonna be crazy when he get old. <laughs> Ghetto ass mama gets sunshot in the ass. So clearly the next time you decide you want to take your road rage out by putting a little extra words like okay, fuck you in it, you know, you might decide you might not want to do that when you're riding in the car with your son. Clearly this mama who decided to cut this dude off for no apparent reason, she got the biggest surprise of her lifetime after he shot up the car. The mom then noticed that her son had gotten shot. The little boy who was shot and is a trooper because I got to say anybody that can go play basketball after being shot in the ass and then letting the reporter know that hey my butt hurt but I'm fine is a super trooper to me but I got to say mama maybe you don't need to be cutting folks off because they might buck you up. Flavor Flames Chicken Shack Bouncer Shacks. 
So clearly Flavor Flav's broke ass should have never went in business because now he's bouncing checks all over the place. The employees decided to let the world know that they ain't paying shit and went to the media to let them know that they bouncing checks. Flavor, who then decided to put out a statement saying, Hey, I do pay my employees. In fact, I pay all my employees. And um, the people that's over there that's talking all that mess, them are the ones that I fired because they know how to cook the chicken. They ain't know nothing about no chicken. And if you ain't know nothing about no chicken, then you can't cook no chicken because you got to have that southern fried chicken in you. That's something that you just got to be born with. Hey, Flavor, all I'm saying is, if you ain't got the cash, then move your ass on out the city. And that was old scoop, baby. Make sure you all subscribe and show your boy some love. Also, click the link below. Hey, I got some pictures of Eva Pink, but I don't know if you seen what she looking like lately. But she looking real oopa doopa doopily lucious. Yo, just click the link so you can just find out all that good stuff. Thank you for watching the Freddy O Show. I need your love. You need your love. So click the link below and show me some love. Freddyo.com! Freddyo.com!